Hi everyone. Um, so in this video, we're going to be talking about two concepts. One of them is uh, like I mean, basically the same concept, basically how to raise ourselves to a higher platform in order to solve the problems at the lower platform. So I've talked about this before, like let's say we write on a blackboard or whiteboard or something, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we write ten numbers um, uh, vertically from bottom to top. So when we are at level three, level four problems seem very difficult to us or level ten problems seem impossible to us, right? But if we raise ourselves to level four or five, then level four problems, again, the same level four problems will seem easier for us. So how do we do that? Like, what is a practical example of that? And there are two things that I'm going to give. One of them is, uh, let's say we want to wake up in the morning. Let's say we decide, like, we want to wake up in the morning at five o'clock. We want to do this and that. Like, we have a whole routine planned out that what, what we want to do. We want to do one hour of yoga. We want to do two hours of, like, prayer or sadhana or something. Or we want to, like, all kinds of things that we want to do. What do we do? How do we solve that problem? One way is to set alarms and be disciplined. And, and yeah, all of that is important, like the discipline and setting alarms and all of that is good. What is more important, however, is to build our selves up, build our passion for it, build our drive for it. So what is more important for us to, is to think about it, ruminate over it, I'm loving this word ruminate. I'm using it so much. But um, like if you want to follow a diet, what is more important than actually saying, okay, I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to only eat this and only eat that. What is more important is to go and watch videos about why that is good. Absorb yourself in that vibration of what you want. Use your brain to absorb yourself in that vibration. So watch videos, look through recipes, look through exercises, look through the benefits of exercises, right? If you want to do a long-term fast, what I used to, when I wanted to do a long-term fast, what I would do is I would watch a lot of videos on fasting, long-term fasting and the benefits, what happens after one day of fasting, what happens after three days, what happens after five days. I would immerse myself in that and that made, me, made it easier for me to do so do that. Immerse yourself in the vibration of what you want. So in my case, I want to wake up early so that I can chant. I want to do two hours of chanting, which I've not been doing. It's, so, it's been so difficult. But that's what I want to do. So for me to be able to do that, I need to just immerse myself in the vibration of why I'm chanting. And why I'm chanting is because I want to build my relationship with God, with, with Krishna. So I want to immerse myself in in reading books about Krishna or listening to the lectures or doing devotional songs, kirtans or whatever. So all or prayer. So the more I do that, the more I build my connection with whatever it is that I'm trying to do with, with uh, Krishna. And the easier it is for me to be able to achieve what I want of waking up early because I have, I'm building that drive and the passion. So you bring yourself to a higher level by giving yourself information and more importantly than just giving yourself information. It's easy to give yourself information, but the more crucial part is to immerse yourself in the vibration of what you want. If you like the, the diet or the fasting or the exercise or whatever, immerse yourself in the benefit of it and uh, you use the power of thought, use your mind, use your intellect to immerse yourself in that container of what you want. And then automatically you will be able to find it easier to do it. So I've been doing this classes every day. I've, I've been uh, doing this uh, it's a, every morning at 8 o'clock, there is this class that I'm doing. It's been two months now. I think it's probably going to be another two months or one and a half months or something, where uh, I'm waking up at 8 in the morning and we're a group of about 18 girls. And uh, we are working through our, um, like, we call it like addictive patterns, but addictive patterns, emotional addictive patterns, because... We're in the Krishna consciousness world, so we don't really drink or anything, but it is based on the Alcoholics Anonymous, the AA 12-step program. So it's called the 12-step program as well. But uh, we've modified, the, the organizer, she's modified it to be 12-step to attain Krishna, to for, for Krishna consciousness. 
it's amazing it's become a habit now for me i didn't set the alarm so this is the thing in the beginning like first of all waking up at 8 o'clock was difficult for me i know this is embarrassing to admit but it was i was waking up at 9 9:30 or something every day and just um and because i wasn't getting sleep at night and there's like all all of the things so it was just a really bad cycle for decades and then wake having to wake up forcing i had to force myself to wake up for this because i was like i want to do this it was so difficult i had such a huge war with myself every morning to wake up but now it's so much easier it's been like uh, it took a month and then you know after 21 days it becomes a habit but not necessarily but it took a month but now because i'm enjoying it so much i'm waking up even if i don't get sleep at night i'm waking up and then i'm staying up so that i can sleep early i'm not like really using this as a as a means to get myself to wake up at 8 and now i want to take it to the next step i want to wake up at 7 so that i can do at least 45 minutes or something of chanting before the the class so i haven't managed to do that yet but I, this morning i forgot to set the alarm and i woke up at it was 8:25 and i'm loving this class so much i was like oh, like other earlier i would have been like oh my goodness let me just skip it today i've already missed most of it i've missed the reading it's only going to be the shares it's not that important it's okay but this morning i was like no i can't do it i can't i, I can't believe i've missed 25 minutes i can't do this and i instantly got up and i instantly connected on the zoom with the video off while i was you know washing my face and things like that but when you surround yourself when when you're putting yourself in a vibration that is a higher vibration than the lower vibration of of whatever sleeping or rest or laziness or procrastination when you div- when you put yourself in an environment of a higher vibration then you automatically get the strength to overcome that procrastination and laziness and the lower vibration so i hadn't gotten sleep last night basically i had gotten sleep but then i woke up and for about 2 hours or something i didn't get sleep in the middle of the night so i do- total didn't get the full amount of sleep that i usually get to- in the morning right but it didn't matter even for a little bit like if i had seen the alarm at 8 o'clock i would have i would have been like oh you know i have to get up because i'm tired and i would have i would have had that thing but i would have gotten up and 8:25 i didn't even it was like instant like i was like i i was up without even the slightest bit of delay i was like i can't miss any more of this this is this is important so yes you surround yourself with a higher vibration and um, it however it works for you maybe if you i mean i i'm lucky to have this group it just happened krishna gave it to me but why krishna gave it to me was because i wanted it right i i i mean i wanted to wake up early or i wanted to regulate my life or i wanted to do like it was there it was there in my heart i didn't actively even pray for it but he was like okay i i know you were on this good path and he 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 gives me miracles like all the time all the time all the time every every day i'm feeling miracles absolute miracles happening in my life because of him because of krishna so yeah i mean to me this was just another one of those miracles i'm so used to them now like this was a total miracle for me to be able to regulate my life and to be able to start my day off in such a beautiful way where i'm thinking about krishna and talking to other people about krishna and connecting with other girls connecting with other girls who are all so so dynamic and so uh beautiful and active and uh, into personal growth through krishna consciousness it's just it's out of this world amazing and uh, um yeah so so that's uh, one thing and the second uh, thing was uh, if if you want to do something let's say like how it's like that passive it how to be passive versus surrender like right? do you be are you passive or do you like does surrender mean being passive and the answer is no absolutely not um but again it's not so much so it's a very similar concept but it's not so much about i am going to do this i i like so it's it's not about uh, saying um what is my life purpose what do i do so yeah sorry not passive what miss render it is uh, so in this passive versus surrender it's the same thing like you know you you're building your connection you're building your vibration by immersing yourself in the good things in my case in krishna consciousness i'm building my vibration as much as i can in doing that but the the other thing is then um 
how do I know what my life purpose is? I do. How do I know what God wants me to do? How do I know what God wants me to do today or, or uh, in life in general or whatever? And again, the answer is not like um, to pray and say, Krishna, please tell me right now. I need to like put a gun on the head. Like no, it's not that. It is um, prayer. Like, please help me. I am feeling very uncertain and lost right now. Please, whenever you feel it's the right time for me to know, please let me know. Whenever you feel it's the right time for me, please reveal it to me. What my life purpose is or what my purpose of today is. What should I be doing today? Please guide me into what this is a very common prayer. Please guide me as to figuring it. Please guide me as to what I should do and the strength to do it. So, yeah, it's just very humbly and gently asking Krishna, please help me, please guide me. And the more we do that, the more we are just, again, immersing ourselves in this vibe and raising our own vibration by being in a good surrounding all day long as much as we possibly can. Good as in whatever we want kind of surrounding. You know, if you want to make money, then you want to be around other people who are making money and you want to hear those conversations all the time and then you will be able to make money. Whatever it is that you want to do, you surround yourself with that vibration. So, yeah, if you if we're, uh, um, for me, if I'm surrounding myself with Krishna uh, as much as possible, you know, playing kirtans all day long, listening to lectures, reading books, um, praying and uh, listening to all the sweetness that he has and all the love and focusing on gratitude for what he has given me, focusing on the absolute miracles, stunning miracles that he brings into my life and to your life as well. If you open yourself up to understanding the miracles that he's giving you, can you look for the things that are absolutely miraculous that happened today that Krishna gave you? If you start to think about it like what is it use your brain use your mind for positive instead of thinking using your mind for negative like oh this person said this or this person doesn't like me or whatever use your mind for positive um use your mind for thinking about how grateful you are and what are the things that you're grateful for every day and what are the things that are absolutely miraculous every single day use your mind as your friend rather than your enemy then um, you start to raise your vibe and as you raise your vibe then you become clearer and all of those uh, negativities, all of the negative thoughts, resents, res resentments, uh, selfishness, uh, dishonesty, fear, all of those things just kind of, they, they start to subside more and more and more. And you start to feel more confident because you, I, I started, I've started to feel more sheltered from Krishna. And so when other people are... Uh, um, not honoring me, it doesn't matter to me so much. Like, it still matters to me. I still get upset. I still get hurt. But not so much. Like, I understand this is where the person is and this is what's going on. And so when I raise my, my vibe and I, un I'm understanding when somebody is not honoring me so much, then I'm like, okay, yeah, it's fine. This person is very young or this person hasn't figured this out yet and that's okay. So I will create a distance a little bit sure I will have some resentment I'm not <laughs> I, I, I'm not uh, completely okay but yeah I will create some distance but I will also understand it's better than how I was earlier where I would be really upset like oh is there some? and then I would take it on me is there something wrong with me no now it's like okay this person has not uh, managed to figure it out yet and I'll, it's okay and but then when I'm doing that and I'm so confident within myself right like I'm I'm like yeah, okay. I mean, it's this person, it's what this person is thinking or doing has got nothing to do with me. And uh, they've just not figured it out yet. And that's okay. Then automatically, that person is more attracted to me. And that person comes back to me, not always, but the likelihood is much higher that that person. Will. So yeah, I raise my vibration. And I raise my confidence. And I raise myself. And the world around me follows. I am the leader of my life. I am the leader or, or I allow Krishna to be the leader. But I am the one who chooses, who makes these choices every day to raise my vibration. And then the world around me follows. Um, yeah, th this is extremely powerful stuff. Extremely, extremely powerful stuff. I, I hope uh, this is helping. I hope you're able to understand because it's, it's like... You, you don't necessarily directly attack the problem. You do. Um, but uh, more important than directly attacking the problem is to raise your vibration. 
okay um that's it for this video um i'll see you in the next video wish you a day filled with lots of very high growth towards higher vibrations from where you are radhe radhe